Hi there, welcome to Sir Mathigo channel. Today, I am going to discuss application of oblique triangles. Example On the ground, two observers sight an airplane at the same horizontal line of sight. The first observer measures an angle of elevation of 48 degrees. Another observer 2,500 meters away, measures the angle of elevation of 38.5 degrees. What is the height of the airplane from the ground? The figure is shown below. The given parts are indicated. The vertical distance from the plane to the ground is the height that is in question mark. Let's make a bigger illustration. Okay, we have this bigger figure. This point is a location of the first observer with 48 degrees angle of elevation. And this point is the location of the second observer with 38.5 degrees angle of elevation. The distance between the two observers is 2,500 meters. With a given information, how do we find the height of the plane from the ground? This red triangle is a right triangle. We can find H using sine ratio. If the length of the diagonal is L, we have sine 48 degrees is equal to H over L. So H is equal to L sine 48 degrees. We just cross multiply. We need to find L before we can find H. So what is the measure of L? L can be found using the given parts such as 48 degrees, 38.5 degrees, and 2,500 meters. Look, we have an oblique triangle in red. In this oblique triangle, we need to find first the three angles, and then we can find L. Let's begin with the angle that is adjacent to 48 degrees. This unknown angle and 48 degrees form a linear pair. That is, their sum is 180 degrees. So, this angle is 180 minus 48 degrees is equal to 132 degrees. The other unknown angle can be solved using angle sum of a triangle. We know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So this angle is 9.5 degrees. This time, we can solve L using the law of sines. We have this formula. L over sine 38.5 degrees is equal to 2500 over sine 9.5 degrees. Let us cross multiply. We have L is equal to 2500 times sine 38.5 degrees over sine 9.5 degrees. We find the value of sine 38.5 degrees and sine 9.5 degrees in our scientific calculator. So we have L is equal to 2500 times sine 38.5 is 0.6225 over sine 9.5 is 0 0.165. So our final answer L is equal to 9431.8 meters. Since we know L, we can find H. Going back to our previous illustration of H, we have 
sine 48 degrees is equal to h over l and h is equal to l sine 48 degrees but we already know l let's substitute we multiply this we have h is equal to 7,007.8 meters this is the height of the airplane from the ground we solved the problem another example refer to this figure a tower 130 feet high is anchored on a hill the hill has 22 degrees angle of elevation the tower is braced with two wires the two wires has a distance from the foot of the tower at about 50 feet each we want to find the length of each wire let's analyze look at the first oblique triangle the given parts are 50 and 130 these are in feet these are the two sides and the included angle is unknown we need to find the included angle so that the given parts will become SAS or SAS. In this case, we can apply the law of cosines. In the second oblique triangle, the given parts are also 50 and 130. These are the sides and the included angle is unknown. We need to find the included angle so that we also have SAS or side angle side for such given parts we will use the law of cosines to find w or the length of the wires let's begin looking for the included angle let's have the first oblique triangle the hill forms a right triangle with given 22 degrees angle of elevation so from this right triangle, the third angle is 90 minus 22 degrees, and that is 68 degrees. Let us draw a segment also from the tower down to the other side. And this segment should be parallel to the shorter side of the right triangle. This angle corresponds to 68 degrees because uh, in geometry, corresponding angles are congruent. So this must be 68 degrees. This angle also is 68 degrees because it is vertical to this angle which is 68. So they are equal. Remember that vertical angles are congruent. This angle also is adjacent to 68 degrees. And they form a linear pair. That means both angles have a sum of 180 degrees. If one is already 68, the other one is 180 minus 68, that is 112 degrees. Now we have already the included angle in each oblique triangle. We can now start solving the length of the wires. We have W1 and W2. The given parts in each oblique triangle form SAS as we have said before so we will use the law of cosines using the law of cosines we have the square of W1 is equal to the square of 50 plus the square of 130 minus twice the product of 50 and 130 and cosine 68 degrees let us get the value of cosine 68 degrees in our scientific calculator and that is 0 0.3746 and we have the square of w is now equal to 14530 but we want to find only w1 so we have w1 is equal to the square root of 14530 and that is equal to 121 feet 
we solve the length of the first wire. Let us find the length of the second wire. Using the oblique triangle that we have, we have the square of W2 is equal to the square of 50 plus the square of 130 minus 2 times 50 times 130 cosine 112 degrees. Using the calculator, Cosine 112 degrees is equal to negative 0 0.3746. And the rest, let us uh, get the square of 50, that's 2,500. Square of 130, that is 16,900. 2 times 50 times 130 is 13,000. 2,500 plus 16,900 is 19,400. Negative 13,000 times negative 0.3746 is equal to positive 4,870. We add this two, we get 24,270. W2 is equal to the square root of 24,270. W2 is equal to 156. This is 156 feet. We have solved the problem.